so there are a lot fewer two-parent families. What's worth more, a dollar today or a dollar tomorrow? Almost nobody gets out of love alive. Prisoners' rights is out of sight, out of mind. Is your brain on top? Hello? With, with, with Cyrus, this is my first time actually physically having color blindism in, in my face. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like, like I, right. I, I know people don't believe in racism or see that racism still exists, but it's the first time anybody's ever approached me with it. So right. now it's like I got to learn how to handle new situations when they're, they're not there. Right. Like, I've been in situations where I've already dealt with atheists. I've also dealt with people who who have this conservative mindset or, you know, this other mindset. But now it's like, okay, so when new things happen, how do I approach it? How do I, I go out my, my way of thinking, go into this uncomfortable situation and do it? And I think that's what happened with the girl. Because people who are religious, who have have done this for a few years, has, has, has you know, talked about God or whatever else, I kind of know how to handle it. You know what I mean? Like, I've dealt with creationists. I've dealt with, with you know, people who try to convert me <laughs> into any kind of religion. Like, right. I've dealt with but somebody who's just finding their way in religion. You know what I mean? Right. Who just recently got saved, just changed their life. You know, she told me some of her situation a little bit, um, I guess, why she found herself. Um, how do I actually approach that? You know what I mean? It's more the newness of the situation. Right. Um, on top of me using what information I have. Right. Because those things... It's harder for me to be concrete. Like, if we're talking about specific subjects, then it is. Like, if we're talking about, you know, um, homosexuality, if we're talking about, you know, all that, that stuff is the same. I'm the same with you on that. Like, I, I've been there. I've thought about certain situations. I, I, you know, even when I get information, I process it. I, I might add it to my information. It might, it might change some point of views, but, you know, it, it's really just a matter of whatever. Like, even yesterday we had a conversation that was differently with, with other people. I had a lot of conversations yesterday, a little bit later, mm. um, about transgender. You know what I mean? And, and, and that. And there was a lot of good shit that came out of that. You know what I mean? That that made me think. Right. And and those are things, there are things that, that you know, I've already had my, my, my views about. But there was things that made me think from a different aspect because people took it from a different aspect. Gotcha. But it's these it, it, new situations that I, it, it's kind of harder. It's kind of harder for me here. I'm still trying to find my way. I'll tell you what, well, with with that young girl, um, like, <clears throat> if I if if that was me, if, if <laughs> wow, I um, I probably wouldn't have been able to keep my thoughts to myself. You know, and and feel com and feel comfortable. I know exactly what you're saying about how it was making you feel, but um, since because I know that it's her and the kids that are coming after her that are the future, I would feel like it was my responsibility to at least just say how I feel. Not even about trying to convert her or anything. Just. You know, she asks me a question directly. I'll give her a direct answer. What if she, you know, I'm thinking about what would have happened after I said, you know, what my feelings like, you know, whatever. And, you know, of course, there would be nothing that she believes in. Right. So it probably would have provoked that. Hopefully we provoked her to ask a follow up question. I, I easily would have probably just shut it down by saying this. Listen, it's not about. I mean, you're, you're young, you know, I want you to go ahead and go through life and kind of figure things out on your own. But, you know, in respect to this situation right here, I would just say treat Christianity as a system of, of discipline and that only. Um, don't take everything that you hear um, for absolute truth unless you've done some on your own research and you figured it out to be true and nine times out of ten uh the i don't know what research you could do to kind of confirm a lot of the stuff that's in the bible but um you know i would just say confirm it first or do your best to before you just decide that anything that you hear 
um, you know, coming out of Christianity is, you know, is what it is. I would just say that. And then hopefully as you get older, you know, get a little wiser, more experiences, you'll be able to, you know, come to your own conclusion. But until then, use it as a system of discipline. You know, you got yourself saved. Apparently, you probably was doing some things, maybe, you know, that you felt were against what, you know, people think the idea of God is. You shouldn't be doing certain things or whatever. So you was feeling a certain way. You wanted to change your life. So look at Christianity. It's just this is the program you entered to try to get your life back together. Just a system of discipline for right now until you and then everything that you hear. Don't just take it for absolute truth. Go ahead and do some research and and young darling, you're going to be fine. That's how I would approach it. I wouldn't try to convert anything. I wouldn't try to convert anything. I just tell her just like that. But I felt compelled to say, because listen, she is the future. I don't want to lie to her or keep it because, you know, the idea of me keeping that from her is not even because of something she'd be concerned with. It's because the way we feel and people our age feel and people who came before us feel. So they, I mean, you know, the idea of Christianity and, and religion and stuff, the way that it is now, of, of course we feel the way we feel when someone asks a question. But she the future, so I'm not going to lie to her. Bye. I'm at least tell her how I feel and then tell her hopefully as she gets older and she has her experiences, she'll come to her own conclusion, whatever it is, whatever it is. Hopefully, you know, she understands the truth. You know, but then that's where the critical thinking exercise comes in. You know, now you ain't just going to be robotic and just say, OK, jumping into Christianity and everything that I hear, I'm going to just follow BBB. No, 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 no. Question all of that shit. Question it all. Question 